Monkey 1000 and today I got a project to do. Well, tonight. <laughs> yeah. I started at 4 o'clock to do this project, but the problem was I couldn't find part of the project that I had already gotten. So, anyways. So, what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you my stuff here. Okay. And this is what I had problems with. I found one. And I know that I bought these at Dollar Tree and can't find them. So I went back and had to go get some more. So then other things happen. So now we're going to do the project. Okay, so I've got four of these. And I got four of these jars. And then I got lovely pretty rocks here. We're going to use those. And we're going to use the twine. Now, I wanted a heavier twine, but I could not find it. So, I'm going to kind of loop them together because what we're going to do with the twine, we are going to probably crazy glue each side and try to make it a handle. So, and it's got to be strong because these are kind of heavy. So, I'm hoping that's going to work. I wish I could have found the other stuff, but I have been having trouble finding it for some reason. Lucky I even got these. Because I think the these were the last two at Dollar Tree. So, and that's mostly where I got all my project stuff at the moment. I try to stay away from Walmart. Too many people. So, anyways, we're going to start this. And I've already, Shea Bears helped me out a little bit. Because I was thinking, right here, this one right here. Okay, we got, and I got a little handle on it. Because what we're going to do, we're going to put... The lights in them right here and we're going to put the lights in here and glow them and then we're going to put the cap on so when it gets um you know rainy these are going to be for outside by the way if i didn't say anything um it gets rainy then the lid will kind of protect the light in here because these are led lights but they're battery you know they're not solar so and then what I wanted, I he had, he punched a hole in the side for me, and so I could put the twine in. And what I'm going to do is hang it just like that. And what I'm using is hooks. We got some hooks, so I will show you. And it's going to be over there where a lovely little um, hammock is and stuff like that. That's where we're going to put it. So. Um, what I'm going to do right now, I've already started the these, and I'm going to show you how I did this, just in case you don't know. But he used a, a little tiny drill. He measured it to the twine that I was going to use. And this can be thin because it's just going to hang. I just didn't want these lids, so, you know, you take them off and they fall on the ground and get lost or whatever. So I was thinking if I hung it while I'm using the lights, and then when I'm not, I can put them back on. So that was my idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of the twine here. You know, I'm going to try to make them about the same. Yeah, and um, I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? Just in case you don't understand what I'm doing or talking about. And just take a little bit right here. And I'm going to cut it off. So then I got my scissors right here. And what I did, after he drilled the hole for me, I mean, if you ladies probably can do that, but I got him to do it because it's his tools and I don't want to break his tools and I could see me breaking something and hearing about it. So i just rather not. And I don't need to cut myself either. So I'm putting this right through here. And it takes a little bit because you, you want to bring both of them out. And I got one in, but the other one didn't want to come in. So kind of just got a twirl. It's just like putting a putting a thread in the needle. That's all you're doing is basically doing the same thing. And I didn't want the hole too big because you don't want the hole too big for it to get water in there. You know, because there. So there you go. So I got it in there. And what I'm going to do is bring it in a little bit and I'm going to tie a knot, okay? But you want the knot down near the end. Hopefully you can see me. And you just want to knot it. So I thought these would be pretty around the outside there, around the hammock and, and where we sit for a fire now. 
it's nice in there. I also want to get some little lights to put around the trees over there so that would look kind of pretty. So there you go. I tied it and there. So I think this one might be a little longer. I don't really care about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. This one is a little bit smaller. But it's up to you if you want to make it. I might, I might cut this one and try it again because it's a little bit too long. So, yeah, there. That should be it. Eh, you make a mistake, just cut it off and, you know, try to make them both the same length if you want. Make it look prettier. So I'll just bring it in a little bit. And it just makes it harder to make a knot here. So. And just put a knot in it. Takes a few minutes. There. There. And there you go. So, there you go. And that's how you do it. Just like that. Okay. Oops, sorry. So this is the first one I did. And then the second one. So I think they're about even. A little bit. Not too bad. There you go. Okay, so now that I got that done, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this with the first one. And then I will um, let you go for a moment. And I will come back when I have all the rest done. Because I mean, you know, you don't want to watch the whole thing, I don't think. So anyways, I got these lovely rocks here. Aren't they pretty? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dump them in here. I really didn't know how many I needed. So I'm gonna dump them in all the jars so I know. And then whatever's left, I can kind of divvy between the two of them. I wanted to fill them all the way up, really, but I don't, I don't know. It might, it might be too much to fill them all the way up. So we'll try to, let me try to at least do this part. And uh, sounds like something's in there. I'm uh, checking the price, st the sticky things that they have in the bottom there. I don't know. Oh, it's a piece, piece of the glass here. I don't know what that is. Huh. Okay, so. I'm going to show you down here again so you see what I'm doing. And I'm going to cut this off. And I'm just going to throw them in the jar. And you can do whatever you want. You could you could fill them all the way up if you want. You could put little things in there, you know, decorations or whatever you want. Or you can just leave them the way you want as they are. And I just want to make sure I got enough for the first round. And then I will take the rest and kind of spread them apart. I think these are really pretty. And they're different. I'm just going to put these all in here, like that. And we got one more over here. Let me see if I can get these stickies off. And I got all this stuff from Dollar Tree. Even the the batteries, you have to use the batteries for the lights. So, um, what did I do with that one light? Let me see. Oh, right here. Yeah, it takes three batteries for these things. Yeah, that's a lot. So, but if you could find, like, if you wanted to use the solar ones and not use the lids on them, you could probably do that. Problem is, when I use those solar ones for the back and they were outside, I sealed them with that. E6000 and I used um, the hot glue gun and it just, they got wet. They got leaked. They leaked. So I thought I'd try this way and see if it would work better. So we're going to put all these in here and just kind of spread them apart. Look how big that is. Isn't that pretty? That is friggin' awesome. Wow, look how blue that is. That's so pretty. So we're going to distribute some in, in each one and fill them up as much as you can. I'll have to get some more. And we'll do it this way. And we're going to put some in this more in here. And even them out, but it's hard because they're such big rocks. Playing here. 
And you can always move them around. Or buy more if you want. So, okay. So now, yeah, I think this one's got way more than the rest. I'm going to put some in here. Just kind of even them out a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, they're big rocks, so it's kind of hard to tell. They don't have to be perfect. So, alright, so now I got the lid, and I showed you how to do the lid on this one. So, and what you're going to do, you're going to put this in here. Oops, and it's got a little handle in here so you can fix it and make it straighter, which I kind of like. And they make it flat. And oh, you want to turn it on. Duh. You want to turn it on, you got to poke it. Turn it on. And then put it down. And then, when you want to, because of the knot, just, just slide it in a little bit. And then when you're not using it, you can twist it on there. Just like so. Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. And just twist it. I want to go in there now. There, I got it. There we go. And then there you go. That's pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, I'm going to dress them up too a little bit. Um, what I got here. I'm going to take some of this twine. I'm going to double these. I'm going to make them thicker. So they're a little bit thicker. And I'm going to put it around. And what I want to do is take this, what I have here. And it's got polka dots on it. Kind of matches. I'm going to take this and make a little bow <coughs> with, with this. There. Okay. So what I'm going to do is turn this off. I'm going to catch up with the other ones on the lights and all that. And then I'm going to come back. And we will work on putting the twine around to kind of decorate it with the bow. We'll be right back. There we go. Be back. Okay, everyone. What I've done, as I'm going to show you, we have done all of them. And they're all right here. That's my water bottle over there. And we got them all. Okay, I put all the lids. And let me see if I can do Sorry. There we go. So then I put all the, the little lights in there, and you can pull them out just like that, and push it, and what you're going to do is put it in there, and you're going to try to be even as possible because you're going to hang it just like so. Isn't that pretty? And if you want, I'm probably maybe go back and get more rocks and maybe fill them all the way up, but you don't want them up too far because, you know, you want it to glisten. You want it to show off, so um, I think I'm gonna leave it for now. But I may may get some more. You could probably mix them. They have all kinds of rocks. You can do different things. But I really like these. I thought they were really pretty and uh, something different. You could use this uh, at you know as a centerpiece on your table if you wanted to. You could use it on your back porch. You know you could. There's so much you could use it for. You know. If you wanted to, you could put one of those candles in there, that battery, and put it in there and, and let it glisten, you know. Um, so, what I'm going to do now, I want to decorate it like that. But it's so thin because I couldn't get the thick ones, so I'm going to kind of double it and um, try to do it that way. Maybe you might have to, yeah, and just do it like that. And leave enough where you can make a bow. Make a little bow. So I'm going to bring it down. Because you can always trim it if you want. You don't have to, you know. And just kind of loop it. And uh, make a little bow if you want. Just tie it. I think that's what I'll do. And then what I'll do is put the ribbon on top. There you go. That will look pretty. And you don't have to. You can just leave it as plain Jane, you know, if you want. I mean, you know, you can decorate it and use it in the house, too, you know. 
I mean, it's all about you and what you want it for. I just want, I thought it would be pretty for out there when we're sitting out there by the fire and have a little light and uh, just look pretty. Okay, so as soon as I find where this is, we can do this part. I don't know if I can, there's the tape right there. Okay, I see. All right, so it gives ribbon a little bit of rhythm, rib, rhythm, a little bit of rib, ribbon here. And see, so you could poke these down and kind of I'm gonna make a bow. I don't know if you can see me or not. There you go. I'm gonna try to make a bow out of this. Uh, let me think. Make sure I got enough here. All right. Uh, I'm not very good at bows. Oop. Uh, no. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna make a bow. So you could do it this way and do it loop maybe. <laughs> I don't make bows very often. I've never been good at this stuff. But I try. And that's all that matters. You don't have to be perfect with it. Kinda. I don't know. What happened to the other end? I don't like it. Okay. Let me play with this for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. I am back. Now, I finally got it done. Finally. There they are. All lit up. If you can see them all. All four of them. And I put a little bow on them. I had trouble with the bows. I'm not the greatest with bows. But, you know, I had my mother help me with a couple of them because I just couldn't get it. These bows are not easy to do. So I didn't really show you how to do the bows because I'm guessing at these bows. And I was watching a video on a bow and I'll tell you what, they make it look so easy and I don't think it's that easy. So anyways, you can do what you want. I put a little twine because I put it around on the outside there a little bit. I think I showed you before. There you go, sorry. And I just kind of made it a little in there so it kind of looks a little country. And so... What we're going to do now, I turned them all on for a reason, because see, what you're going to do, I got, I'm going to show you what I've got here. I got something else here. Okay, hold on. And so, I have here, is what they call shepherd's hook. And it's got a little butterfly on it. See that? Isn't that cute? And it's a little bit stronger than the other one. And what I'm going to do is put these in the backyard where I want them. And I'm going to hook them on here. See that little hook there? And hook them right like that. And see? There you go. Isn't that pretty? That is really pretty. I like them. I probably am going to try to get another couple of bags. And Okay, guys. Now I have them lit up. I have the lids here, but we have a little problem. We have now three and not four, as you will see at the end of this video. So I'm going to take one of them out. I'm going to just go outside in the backyard and um, I'm not going to put them over where I want them right now. Um, it's kind of late and it's dark. So um, I'm going to just take one out and show you what the, the thing outside so you know how it's going to look. Be right back. Okay, everyone, we're outside, and Shea Bear's got his night vision going for me, so you guys can see what I've done. So, as you'll see at the end of the video, video sorry, I can't talk, um, now we have three instead of four. Okay, so, here we go. I put them over here and wanted to kind of light up my hammock a little bit, and also the area where we're going to sit. So, I put one here and one over there by the chairs. 
So when we're having a fire, we got these lit too. And it makes a nice homey thing. And then I have one over by my hammock over there. And when I get me another one to replace the other one, then I'll have one past that over by the hammock a little bit more. So it kind of trails a little bit. I think it looks cute, it's pretty. And these got butterflies on them too. So in the daytime when you don't have the lights on, it's a little decoration back here too. I also got some ideas what I'm going to maybe put some of those little lights, the LED lights, maybe back here. And we'll see. So that's it. That's the end of my video for now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find me another jar like that. So it happens. But that's it. And Bruno's over there hanging out underneath the tarp there. <laughs> So, Shaber, Shaber, <laughs> Shaber is playing with this thing. Yeah, it's a big hole, and he's supposed to cement that, but it keeps raining, so we can't do anything right now. But I like the lights; I think it gives off just enough. You don't want to put too many of these beads in either, because you get it too heavy, and it's going to fall. So you don't want it too heavy. But I, I don't want to put too much in there either because it won't it won't shine enough. I think it'd be prettier with them with a little bit of light in there. So when you're back here, it looks good. Anyway, as Monkey says, she's out for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned. I have another one coming up soon, maybe tomorrow if I have time. Bye, y'all.